Hi guys, Kendra here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I decided to do a quick um, video on some of my favorite skincare products. I have a ton of skincare products. So I, what I did was I went through and I picked the ones that I used on a regular basis and some that I felt like I thought they were good, um, but they just aren't in my favorites. And just, they're just not my go-to everyday um, picks that I use for my skin. Okay. And then I have some stuff that is not worth you paying the money for it. The hype is not worth it. Um, and of course, again, I have to say this, y'all. I bought this. Uh, I'm not sponsored. <laughs> Let's just say that. I just, I just have an, I have an addiction for skincare, makeup, and those type of things. I just love those things. But um, I just have to make sure I say that because I don't want anybody to think that I'm just telling them something to just go run and get it. These are just products that I have gone out to the store and try based off of reviews, the same reviews that I'm giving you, except those people were probably paid and probably got some money to tell you them lies. Uh, no, I, I, I bought it, yeah. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so first on the list, well, I'm gonna start with cleansers. Kate Somerville, I like this cleanser. This is an exfoliating cleanser. Uh, a daily cleanser that you can use every day. I do like it. However, Miss Kate is a little expensive, okay? So I do not use this as often anymore. Not since I've been put on to, whoo, it's my holy grail, y'all. Low pH, good morning. I love this stuff. I love, when I tell you, it lathers good. It cleans, it exfoliates, exfoli ex I can't talk today. What's going on? It exfoliates your skin. Um, it leaves it nice and clean. Um, you can get it on Amazon for $10. I mean, you can't beat it. I mean, I think it's, it's primarily made by the, uh, I wanna say the Korean. Uh, but when I tell you this is good stuff, y'all, this is good stuff. I mean, am I lying? I got a, I got one that ain't even open on standby. Okay, that's I don't I don't run out. Okay, I do not run out. Those are my two top cleansers. Now, this cleanser here, this is the Hydro Boost Explo Exfoliating Cleanser, and this is on the same line as the Neutrogena. This is one I was talking to you guys about the other day when I did that Get Ready with Me video on the uh, Jackie Ina ABH palette. This is a part of that same line. I told you guys they came out with a cleanser. They have a, um, like a whites, and they have, um, this is also a makeup remover. They have this as well. And I'll tell you exactly what I think about it. I love it. I love the whole line. The only thing I don't like is the whites. I keep this cleanser in my car, in my bag, because some days I have to work long hours and I don't like my makeup on longer than eight hours. One time I developed, um, I don't know if you guys ever heard of something called Milia. And Milia is like, um, it was like Milia. I won't say it was exactly Milia, but it was kind of like the way my skin was acting was similar to Milia. Whenever I would work long hours, I would, um, I wasn't taking the makeup off and so the makeup was clogging my pores. I was waiting until I got home to take the makeup off. I was developing these, they look like little bumps. They were like little bumps and I could see it, you know, through my foundation. It was like little bumps all over, like in this area, they were here, they were here. And I was like, what are these little bumps? They look like little heat bumps. Um, so what I did, I stopped leaving the makeup on all day. I started taking it off after eight hours. So what I would do is I would put this in my bag. So no matter where I was, if I was in between locations, cause I, I travel a lot, I go to different sites for my job. But if I was um, at a different location, what I would do is pull this out of my bag, clean my skin, cleanse my skin. This stuff works really well for cleaning your skin and it works really good. And 
And the other good thing about the Neutrogena is that it has um, hydroluronic acid, which is good for fine lines. And it's good for tightening your skin, making your skin look flawless. It, it is really good for that. Trust me, guys, when I tell you this is anything that's got that um, hydroluronic acid in it, I buy. Okay? I don't leave on the shelf. I get it. I'm telling you, it makes a difference in your skin. Um, I was taking all kind of supplements. And I'm telling you, the best results that I have seen with my skin is when I started using any cleansers that have the hydroluronic acid in it and uh, my collagen supplements, which I will talk more about that in uh, another video. Okay, so um, try them out, you guys. The, and the other thing they have, this is the, um, I use it like, it's a makeup remover, you know? So what I do is I'll go in with this first. And again, it has the hydroluronic acid in it, all of them, all of them have that in it. So even if you use the cream, you can, Put this cream on your face at night and it will sit on your skin all night long so try it it's good normally I would use this first to remove the makeup then I would go in with this to do a second cleansing and then after I use that I'm gonna tell y'all about my best kept secret if you got acne prone skin you gonna need this in your life okay because I'm gonna tell you what cleared up my skin after I had that episode with the Amelia, the heat bump ratchets that was pushing up through my foundation. Because I'm telling y'all, skincare is where it's at. Because your makeup is not going to look flawless if you are not cleaning your skin. If you're not taking care of your skin, you can forget the baddest, the $60 foundation, the $50 foundation, nothing is going, you, what you're gonna have is a pack of foundation on and you're gonna see the bumps pushing up through the foundation. Not cute, not cute y'all. Okay, but I'm gonna tell you this stuff right here, this stuff right here, and I found this on Amazon. Polish Choice Clear Anti-Retin Exfoliator. This little bottle here costs twenty nine dollars. I know, I know. You don't have to see it. I know, cause girl, I went back and forth on whether or not I was gonna get it, but oh my god, I cannot be without it now. Not only did it clear up those bumps, it left my skin just oh y'all. I can't say enough good stuff about this stuff, and I just now started seeing them advertised. Cause when I bought it. They weren't advertisement. I found this on Amazon. Just I was just looking for something to help clear my skin because I was using all these exfoliating um, masks and all this stuff I was using on my skin and nothing was working. As a matter of fact, I was over exfoliating. That's another thing. You can over exfoliate your skin to the point where your skin breaks out. But this stuff here, this right here is the bomb. And I will not lie to you. If you have acne prone skin, use this stuff um if you want to use a nice mask um like a um exfoliating mask um i would say go with this one this is by the ordinary it's not expensive it's roughly around i want to say i paid about eight bucks for this but it's not expensive at all it comes in a tube looks like this and what you do is don't use, don't use, uh, like, don't use anything like this to put it on. Don't use it. Because all you're going to do is soak up the product in this right here. So don't use this. What you want to do, just clean your, clean your hands real good and dab this on your hand and rub it in your face. Okay? I mean, I don't know if some people do this number there. I, I, I don't know. But... The way I use it is I put it on my hand and not on a, you know, not on something like this because it's just, this right here is just going to soak up all your product and you don't want that. But when I tell you this is really good, this is a, this has AHA and BHA in it. It's got 30% AHA and 
2% BHA, okay? Which is supposed to be really good for acne prone skin and getting rid of blackheads and whiteheads. Supposed to be good for this. I will say it works. It does work very well for the price point is good, okay? Compared to some of these other masks on the market like this one, don't waste your money. Ren, this, this, um, this is, a, is a exfoliating mask. This is a, a glycolic lactic, and you know glycolic acid is supposed to be the holy grail for exfoliating the skin. I wasn't impressed with this at all. As a matter of fact, I wish I could have got my money back. This I bought um, when Sephora ran the 20% off. You know, I, I normally tend to try things when Sephora ran the 20% off because I you know I can get the discount, whatever. But I wasn't impressed with that, so don't don't waste your money. This right here is another, and I know I know a lot of people like drunk elephant. I know um, this stuff normally sells out the yin yang whenever Sephora run their twenty percent off sale. This little con this little bottle right here. See how little this is? It's only thirty mils. Costs ninety dollars. Okay, not worth it. Absolutely not. I, I would not. I, I think I probably, maybe the first one or two times I used this, I felt maybe a little tingliness um, when I put it on. After that, mm -mm, I didn't feel, I felt like it wasn't doing nothing. It, and it has 12% um, AHA and BHA blend in it, which is the same blend as this one right here for $8, y'all. It's the same blend. They want $90 for this and eight dollars for this and to me this works better this right here is ninety dollars and it does not i don't feel that it's doing anything i really don't i i just i wish i had never bought it so that's two products that you guys can save your coins okay don't get it oh and this is um this right here this is another item that I felt like was a waste of money. This is Pharmacy Honey Glow. Now it has AHA um, uh, resurfacing. It's supposed to be a resurfacing night cream. Did not like it. What did it say? What, what did it say? Hated it. Don't waste your money. Don't, don't. It's $60. And I did pay full price for this because I had to get my hands on it. It was selling out at Sephora. Sephora didn't have it. They ran the 20% off sale. And everybody was ratting and raving about how great it was. And I had to get my hands on it. And um, I found it at, um, oh God, what was the name of that website? I, oh, Beautylish. I shop on Beautylish a lot. I found it on Beautylish, but of course I paid full price for it. Got it. And you see, I got a full bottle. I've had this, I know, at least six I know I've had it at least seven months and I don't even use it. That's cause I wasn't impressed with it, okay? Okay. No, don't waste your money. Now, um, these last two items that I'm going to discuss are in my opinion, these are my go-to masks. If you want to do like a mask, you know, like um, a clay mask. If you wanna use a clay mask, I love this um, deep sea mud mask. This is nice, y'all. I like this stuff. Looks like this. I don't know if y'all can see that. Looks like that. But um, I normally write on the top how long to keep it on. So I write like, um, this right here stays on for 15 minutes. So I write a number 15 on the top. Um, but it stays on, stays on your face for 15 minutes, wash it off. My skin feels really smooth when I take it off. I like the way my skin feels after I, I use that. Is by Pure. It's called Dirty Girl. Um, this stuff is good. This stuff is really good for cleaning your skin. It says um, you're gonna leave it on for five to twenty minutes. But um, I was impressed by this. This is it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's a clay mask as well, brown, um, brown mask. But uh, it tingles when you put it on. Very good. Those are my two favorite masks that I use. I have tons of other masks that I probably share with you guys in the in the future because I have a drawer full of skincare products. I mean, my skincare collection is through the roof. After I use the Polish Choice, I will use uh, Neutrogena's. The I will go in and 
moisturize my skin with the uh, this moisturizer here. Um, which it doesn't seem like a lot. It's only like 1.7 ounces. And I think this is the only size it comes in for $18. But y'all, when I tell you I have looked like in the, in the winter months, I, and I know I said on my last video, I got combination skin. So I get oily here, here, and here. But all this right here in, this, in the winter months, well, I will get like dry patches. Like this gets dry and patchy. This is the only thing that will moisturize my skin without it feeling greasy. And this stuff right here just really gives my skin that soft feel where it doesn't feel greasy but it's moisturized you don't see dry patches i just love this stuff man i i love this stuff i'm never i'm probably never going to use any other moisturizer because i this was this is what i used to use i used to use the clinique um moisture surge this is a 72 hour auto replenish hydrator i was using this and I did, I almost used this, this up, and I bought a, a bigger one on the last Sephora when they ran their 20% off Rouge um, sale. I uh, picked a, a bigger bottle of, of this, but I haven't used it yet because I got hooked on this. Because this right here was working, it works good, but this right here is good in the summer months for me. In the summer, I can get away with this. I can wear this and it'll give me the hydration, The moisture that I, you know, it'll, it'll moisturize my skin. It'll give it to me. But in the winter months, no ma'am, Pam, not gonna cut it. Not gonna cut it. You will still see those patchy spots. And my man got time for that. So, at the end of the day, I'm gonna stick with what I know works best. And that will be this little gift. It's gonna be my holy grail for 2019 and 2020. All right, and I'm sticking to it. Period. <laughs> I know y'all be saying this girl is crazy. But anyway, so guys, that was it on my um, some of my favorite skincare products. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the Kendra family. And y'all, give me some other ideas. I got a ton of stuff. Y'all, y'all not ready. I got a ton of stuff I'm, I'm gonna be talking about. I'm telling you right now, I do. I have a ton of stuff that I'm gonna be coming out with. So um, I'm still trying to set up my days. I'm thinking that I'm gonna be posting on uh, Sundays, Mondays, and Healthy Tuesdays. So on um, Tuesdays, I will be um, doing tutorials on uh, health and wellness on Tuesdays, okay? So y'all look for my videos coming out on my weight loss journey. I will be start, I have started my weight loss journey. I'm still doing the filming on that. Um, and just taking you guys on my journey to try and lose this last 10 pounds. Pray for me, y'all, because I'm trying. I really am trying to get this last 10 pounds off. And hopefully I would encourage somebody else to do the same thing, to just be healthy in 2019. Until the next time, I'll talk to you soon.